going on guys? Today I'm going to teach you guys how to nollie backside lip. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to learn how to do is a nollie. And a nollie 180. I just noticed my laces ripped. I'm gonna have to put some shoe glue on this later. So once you get those two tricks down. It's kind of just really like growing a set of balls and committing to the rail. Some people say that you have to like get good at backboards. Uh, that's a, the whole backboard frontboard subject. That's that's something I'll leave for another video. But backboard, you know, you're on your board, you're coming, the rows in front of you. This is how I grew up knowing what a backboard is. Backboard, come out, backboard, right? Some people say you have to get good at backboards in order to nollie back lip. It's sort of true, but your body positioning is completely different. Because with the backboard, your shoulders are like this. Your shoulders are, are curved in and your body's not really like twisted. It's more of just like turn your shoulders, bring them back this way. Whereas a nollie back lip, you know, you have to bring your body completely this way. You have to turn your hips, turn your shoulders to get onto the rail and then come back out. So how I set up for a nollie, front, uh, nollie back lip, it's like this. I'll put my, put my left foot here, and then I'll put my, my front foot right here on the nose. Some people, some people say to put your like, some people say to put your foot right here, and then your other foot like right here. I personally don't feel that like that works. How I do my back lips, it's like I said, foot right here, not 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 completely horizontal to this but like at, a, at, a, at an angle and my other foot like this so, so my feet are basically angled like this when I'm gonna when I'm gonna nollie back lip see how they're not horizontal with the board they're diagonal and then from there you just pop it over to the from there you just pop it over the rail um, it's gonna take you a while to learn uh, it, it's it's really just commitment. It's it's not that hard of a trick, um, especially if you're good at li at back. If you're if you're good at back lips, you can do this trick no problem. I can't back lip to save my life. I can't even disaster on a half pipe, but I can nollie back lip. It doesn't make sense to me, but I can do it. Um, like I said, it, it's mainly just commitment. Just you know, get 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 your nollies down, get your nollie one eighties down. And once you get your nollie 180s down, we all remember how when we first started doing a 180, we were doing this, a 90. Think of that when you're going to go nollie back lip. Just think of a nollie 180, but you're going to do it just the 90 degree. And just stomp it. Just stomp it. it I'm not going to lie, when I first started learning this trick, it was a little scary. Um, it, it, like I said, it's like back it's like back lifting and back lifting for me is a little uh, it's a little nerve wracking for me because I know the damage that, that trick can cause but nolly back lip is really fun if you guys uh, if you guys learn it super fun trick you get a lot of props on it not a lot of people can do it but like I said get your nollies down get your nollies 180s down get your nolly 180s down and just just go balls out for the rail you'll hurt yourself more if you're 50% committing than 100% committing if you've been skateboarding for a long time then you know that you gotta commit to a trick if you don't commit to a trick you're in a bell and it's gonna suck so nollie back lip get your nollies down get your nollie 180s down do that nollie 180 onto the to the rail lock it in and when you're coming out when you're coming out of a this is how i come out of a nollie back lip i just turn my shoulders i literally that's all i do when i'm locked into that nollie back lip I'm locked in like this. My hips are twisted this way, 
my shoulders are twisted this way. All I do is turn my body back this way. Literally, just turn my body back this way. Your feet follow. Your feet follow. It's really just turn your hips and your shoulders. Your board's gonna follow, your feet are gonna follow because that's the way you're supposed to be facing. And that's how you come out of an ollie back lip. Hopefully this, uh, hopefully this trick tip helped you guys. One of my all time favorite tricks to do like on a little flat bar at the skate park, sometimes down the rail depending how I'm feeling that day. But uh, hope this trick helped you guys. Let's check it out one more time. Alright guys, so that's an ollie back lip for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you guys do get this trick down, remember to commit to it and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. Again, commit to the rail. Commit to the trick. Turn your hips, turn your shoulders, and you'll be good at those nollie back lifts. Sorry, I'm a little winded, I don't know why. But anyways guys, Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm be doing a lot more videos, you know, not just skateboarding. Well, skateboarding, yeah, but like everything skateboarding in general, like wax, bearings, decks, grip tape, you know, my life in skateboarding over the years. I've been skating for 15 years, so again, just, you know, if you guys like this video, leave a comment. If you don't like it, let me know why. Uh, subscribe if you guys want, it'll help me out. Anyways, guys, catch you later.